What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators designer of Superman head bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies. And in this episode, uh, we're going off of a request that one of you guys actually sent me. I'll have your name right here, I can't remember offhand right now, it's been a little bit since I've actually wrote it, wrote it down. Uh, but, here's the thing, he said, or she, I don't know who this is, they said that, uh, I should do a combat for dunning with Minecraft, a Minecraft punch or something like that. And at first I was like, you know, I don't know that I could do that. I mean, I've already done a punch tutorial, it's linked down, you know, in the description. But a Minecraft punch specifically, then I got to thinking, hmm, Minecraft characters can punch down trees. So in this episode, I have figured out and I'm going to show you what you would have to do in order to be able to punch down trees yourself just like in Minecraft. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this next episode. This is going to be an inside video because one, it's kind of dark outside, and two, I'm not going to be really doing as much punching uh, in this video. I'm going to be more uh, talking about it because if you don't know how to punch, I already have a video for that. I already have a video going through the technique of how to punch. That's not what this video is for. This video is to get you to be able to take that basic punch and turn it into a punch that will be able to destroy trees at will. So, um... Just before you get uh, going, say, hey, um, prove it. You can't, you've never shown us punching through a tree, blah, blah, blah. That's true. I've never gone out, punched down a tree. I've kicked down a tree before, never on video. I, it's just, you know, not something I normally do. I haven't, and I also haven't put in the max amount of fist training. I'm still going through it myself. That does not mean I don't know what to do. I know what to do. I just am in my process of doing it. And so, in order for you to start your process, one, you're going to want a, a heavy bag will be very nice to have, and so will two types of boxing gloves. One is the big, uh, really foamy-ish boxing gloves that'll get you practice on just being able to hit objects. A lot of you guys have seen those. Um, I know Sentry has really foamy, really good boxing gloves that you can buy for really cheap. And I want you to just use those knuckles and just go to town on a heavy bag. If you have a heavy bag, great. If you don't, use some other object that's not super solid. It's important that you don't start on like a wooden table or a wooden fence or even a tree. Don't start there. Grow to that. The process is taking time. The process is basically micro fractures in your, your bones so that they callous over and become harder and harder over time. And so, once you start, you know, hitting that heavy bag with your bigger gloves, I want you to, uh, after a couple months, a couple weeks of doing this, shrink your gloves. Once that becomes easy, once that becomes doable, shrink your gloves so that it's a little bit harder now. You don't punch, you know, it's back to you're feeling that pain, you're feeling the fractures. So you go through it, bang, 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 bang. Uh, then you work your way down to punching that heavy bag without gloves. Now this, you're not going to want to punch full force if you do that if you can you can break your wrist you can break your fingers there's lots of things that can go wrong so you want to start off slow punching it around 50 percent of your full power onto that heavy bag now once you um get comfortable with that you're going to transfer uh onto something slightly harder instead of the top of like if you have a sandbag like i do uh, the top of that sandbag is going to be lighter than, and less dense than the bottom. So basically, you're going to work your way down to the bottom of that sandbag. Now, uh, some side workouts you can do is knuckle push-ups. These will help condition your knuckles. I, uh, You can start off with knuckle push-ups on like carpet or maybe like a foam, EVA foam mat. And then slowly work your way to harder things like uh, wood floors, jumping uh, concrete floors, jumping push-ups, you know, with those knuckles going bang every time, bang, jump, bang, jump, bang onto some concrete floors. Um, I'm actually at that point, and that will get you to be able to punch through things like, you know, boards and uh, st 
stuff like that but don't stop it gets harder so as you go up harder with your punches as you get to the bottom of the bag transfer over to a wooden surface maybe a wooden board maybe a wooden fence in your backyard whatever that is transfer to a wooden surface like I'm sitting here punching my wooden desk trying to show you but so that you can punch it over and over and you won't feel the hit you won't feel the hit that's what your your goal is again going up uh, the scale of hardness level so so that when you start to get numb when you start to get used to it you are then moving on to the next point moving on to the next hardness level now one thing for you to understand is that a not all wood is equal and B, take rest. You need to take rest between um, the days of when you're doing it. So when I, what I do is I have day one of my week. I have day one is, you know, knuckle conditioning. Take two days off. So two and three are off. Four, knuckle conditioning. Five, six, and seven are off. So take plenty of time to recover because it does take time for your knuckles to callus over and to become stronger if you don't do this you risk the possibility of actually injuring your knuckles and that is never fun to do so going farther from there uh once you get to that point where you can just punch trees try it out go for some trees try it obviously go um with some foam knuckles or foam gloves at first and then start punching dead trees around that you that's around you know your community around a park whatever make sure they're already dead don't like punch down living trees for no reason that's kind of just messed up but that is how you grow to being able to punch like minecraft basically being able to punch down trees and collect that wood <laughs> So if you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments. I'd be more than willing to help you. Uh, if you want to know the diets, I've been thinking about doing some dieting sections of combat for dummies. So if that's interesting for you, if that's if you're interested in that, let me know down below because, you know, why not? It's part of combat. Also, some workouts to get you stronger and allow you to throw a more um, powerful punch with not only your arm strength, but your core strength, your leg strength, all of it going into that one punch. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I might throw some of that together for you. Whew, that was a lot. All in one take, too. So hopefully that's, you know, not a bad video. But... Till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.